glory, all honor to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Raka HaKodesh, Yahweh being the Most High's name, Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, a savior unto his people, which are the chosen 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans scattered abroad, and those in other parts throughout the earth scattered abroad. All right, um, I want to give double honors to the apostles of GMS, Shalom to the teachers of Israel. All right, again, my name is Yalak Mara'a, or I'm part of the Sheep Red Camp, and special salutations to the Akim of the Sheep Red Camp. Shout out to the Akwa out there, and the men, women, and children of the house of David. All right, this is Sarat chapter 51, verse 30. Work your work, the times. We're saying, work your work. Work your work. Before the usual or expected time, early. Do this work early. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. All right? Do it early. Do it. Don't put it in the back end. Don't do it in the back end where you're going to serve the most high when I get older. Jake like to try to do things in itself and put it on. I'm going to serve the most high in the back end later on. Or I'm going to put it to the back end at the end of the day. You don't know if you're going to make it through the end of the day. You don't know if you're going to grow old. All right? The, the scriptures said, and this is a message from Sarah. All right? He said, he said, what? Work your work, but times. Work that work, man. And in his time, he will give you your reward. Now, we all work for this, this government, right? Now, we know that this people that we work for put us in slavery. You know they just now changing the name for the master bedroom? Yeah, when you say, oh, I want the master bedroom, that goes back to slavery. So this man, with that concept of you still saying, oh, when we were still saying master bedroom, still seeing these Christopher Columbus statues laid up, Andrew Jackson statues still on the dollar bills with slave owners. On the dollar bills you pay your money with, that they pay you with, you receive what? A reward of working now. All right, you receive a reward of work. And now, I want to get this in a loop, okay? Because the Lord was saying, the Lord was saying, uh, uh, this was a parable by Yahweh Shai, right? And this is, uh, I want to uh, get straight to the point. Uh, this is Luke 11 and 9. And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given. It shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a, if a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or, or if he shall ask an egg, will, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more the Heavenly Father? So, if you know how to reward just your children, right? And this is for asking, but just in taking the, uh, the, the concept of, you know, reward your children if they do things. And you being evil. Matter of fact, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's an even better one. There's an even better parable. Um, it's escaped me right now, and I thought this was it. But it's when uh it's a, it was an evil ruler, and the woman uh uh was begging him, and he finally uh gave her something, you know that she was begging for, you know, and him being an evil ruler was to uh give her that. How much more this evil ruler that's over us that had us in slavery, all right, had us as three fifths of a man, to to give you a paycheck now, to give you a you able to buy a house now, to give you a deed now to the house, some ownership. If he's able to do that, how much more the most high when we doing his work? And that's the point. You know, these are the concepts that to look at because when we doing this work, we're serving the heavenly father. And when you're doing his work, you know, he's saying work but times. You want to do it early. You want to do it fresh. You don't want to put it on the back end, not in the back end of the days of your life or the back end when you just like, all right, I ain't got nothing else to do. Now let me do this. You know? Nah, you're going to get your reward. But it says what? In, in his time. Now, we know that what? The Most High is on a whole different type of time. <laughs> you know, no, he's on a whole another type of time, all right? 
And that is one day with the Lord is a thousand years. It say, don't be ignorant of that. Okay? So the Lord will give you a reward. All right? Sometimes it may not be in this lifetime. Because the Lord is on another type of time, right? Um, so I can, let me actually go into this word reward. And it says, uh, uh, repayment for some service. All right? A sum of money in exchange for a capture. But it's repayment for some service. Now, the service we're doing it, we're what? We're going out to speak the word of the Most High. All right? And we're doing his will. As we should, first of all. You know, that's why the uh, Lord called us unprofitable servants. You know, it's nothing that you should profit off of. Because at the end of the day, I gave you life. This is what I made you for. Should you reward your vacuum <laughs> for taking in dust? Should you reward your garbage for holding garbage and being thrown out? <laughs> You know, the, you know, the, you know, she, 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 you reward your plate, you know, for holding your food. That is what it's made to do. All right. We are unprofitable servants, but the most high is righteous. Cause even if this devil is able to give us something, he brought us, he has slaves, even him, <laughs> even he who's seen us as a service or usage still gave us. Now he give us crumbs. He give us the worst food. He give us the worst education, but he he gives he gives somewhat of gifts, right? Now, how much more a righteous king, a righteous a righteous power who we're working for? So let's let's let's, let's do it. Be times. Let's work this work. But times, man, you see, let's work this work. But times, joyfully, you know, happily, you know, enjoyment, ecstatic, happy to do it. Glad to do it. Or unless you want to rather work for this devil. All right, because this devil, you'll be working. He'll he, he cut, you, cut you from your job, cut your pay, cut this. You know, switch this around, fire you, let you go. Give you give you the lowest amount. He takes he takes the largest amount. Yeah, how is Shah is putting us on the level? He going to give you crowns. What job you ever gave, they, they, they promoted you and gave you a crown on your head. What job you ever uh, um, uh, worked? ever gave you a mansion and this mansion that the Lord's speaking on let's get it John 14 and 2 in my father's house are many mansions your father's house is in the heavens they're trying to do a vacation run through virgin galactics I know real talk they're trying to do vacation runs through virgin galactics okay where they're basically um They want to do space space flights. How much you think that's going to cost? Okay, to do space flights. It's going to cost a lot of money. Now, the Most High is telling you what? You're going to have a mansion out there. Do you know what did that? That's priceless. What job you know will do that? So why not be on static with it? Why not be excited with it? Why not work the work the times? You know, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kudash, man. Because the Most High gave us this job and called us into this job. First of all, jobs don't just call you, you know, what job you know call you? Hey, would you like, would you like to work for us? You got to go out and find it. The job called you. The job selected you. He said, yo, I have chosen you. Many are called. If you are chosen. He called you. And you ain't going to work this thing, but work this work with times and excitement and joy and static. Hey, every job has its problems. Even the jobs we work now it has its problems. There's not no perfect job. It has its problems. It has its pros and it has its cons. All right, but no job has the reward of this job. All right. And no, no relations like Fonsworth Bentley used to hold the umbrella for uh, Puff Daddy. You know how much happiness he was and he got to be, you know, rap and do his thing because what? He was associated with Puff Daddy. How much more us working for the Heavenly Father, the things, the benefits you receive being next to the Heavenly Father, working for the Heavenly Father. You know, those who work in the king's house is going to pretty much, you know, get to enjoy the 
the smell of the king's house, the food, you know, and you might eat the food afterwards, after they're done eating, but you're still eating the foods that the king is eating. <laughs> you know, you might have a little room in there where they want you on board, but you're still sleeping in the rooms that, that's in the king's house. You know, so the most high, this job that we're working, prophesying, being brotherly, doing alms, charitable, exhorting brothers, calling, checking up, you know, constantly building. This has a reward for it, man. All right. And there's a mansions with brothers' names, title and deed, a crown with that to go, and a chariot. And I ain't took what job, you know, come with a car. You know, they give you a company car. But what company car? You know, could fly. You know, here, you could fly on a company's jet. Yeah, 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 yeah. The worker flying on the company's jet. Usually the, the, the real boss, you know, flying in like Walmart, like these guys, these top guys, they'll fly on their company jet and stuff like that. But the workers don't, yo, come on, the workers, the workers, shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> they ain't flying on no company jet. You'd be lucky if they send you a Metro card. You'd be lucky if they send you an Uber to work. How much more the most high sending you a company car, chariots to bless, send you out of space, man, to your new place, to your new home, to new mansions. You see, give you healthier bodies, better than health insurance. We're talking about healthier operational body. What, 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 what company you know will offer that? Better bodies. Free from sickness, never experiencing pain. What job you know gonna offer you that? So the hell with this society, hell with this place. This place is on its way out anyway. You still searching and scrambling around this place for some. Listen, I got the news for you. It's through. It's through. You know, it's done. It's done. It's over with. So this is the best one, man. And 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 let it gets, come on, there's more. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, the mind, nor have it even entered in the thoughts of men. The things which Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh shall have prepared for those who love him. The eyes never even seen it. The ears never heard it. So uh, wouldn't you want to be going for something like that? Niggas is out here still chasing rap dreams. Please, nigga. Why would I want to do that? Those are things I've seen. I see Jay-Z's chain. That's a chain. I see their chain. I see their house. I see their cars. I heard about it. I see their private jets. I could watch it from afar. Drake plays famous. Those are things. You want you want something that I haven't seen? You know, Jake always want to be on a level with. <laughs> yeah, you ain't, you ain't never, ever <laughs> seen one of these before. Yeah, that's how it's going to be. Because it says, eyes have not seen, nor ears heard. Ain't nobody heard about it. That's going to be, well, wow, what is that? Yeah, what is that? It's gonna, what are those? That's the conversation of the kingdom of heaven. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard. Nor have it even entered in the mind of men. It didn't even enter in their thoughts with the most high prepared for those who love him. Stay on the grind. Stay on the grit. You know? Keep pushing. Because there's a reward laid up. There's a reward laid up. Trust. If you believe that this guy who put you in slave cargo slaves and packed you in sardines have given you uh, good paychecks, how much more God? How much more the most high? You know, you took his word for it. You took the devil's word for it. And these, these, these are debt notes. They ain't, he ain't even paying you in real money because you can't even go and uh, cash out with gold for it. You can't even do it. You can't even exchange real substance for it. All you getting is debt notes. That's all you're getting. You're paying renters. You get you giving making him more rich. He owns the buildings you're paying. And if you own a house, you're paying him his land because he owns the land. You gotta pay his property. You gotta pay taxes if you do own the property. There's no way escaping it. The most high ain't gonna be making you pay property tax. In fact. In fact, when you will be rewarded, he's going to have people paying you. How about that? That's his retirement plan. When he finally pays you out, he's going to have people serving you. 
He's going to have people working, bringing in money for you. See, nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. Nobody wants to work. And that's what Yahweh Shah said. The labors are few. The labors are few. He said, pray. I pray. <laughs> and then Yahweh Shah Yahweh Shah increased the labors. The labors are few and nobody want to work. Ain't nobody want to work for this for this penny. And this penny, like who's bringing out, this access you, you need this penny. You drop it inside this machine. You, 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 you push it down. And it access it. You have access to things that people have not seen or heard about. I'm ready for that. We don't have nothing here. Everything here is corrupted. Got goddamn Boeing planes falling out the sky. Yeah, Boeing planes, the damn plane. So you buy a jet plane and shit all defiled. Their 737 is, is messed up. All right? You got damn jet fuel spraying all over the place. COVID has shut everything down. What are you going to do? What are we doing here? See, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. It says, Then Peter answered and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? So Peter asked the Lord, we forsaken all, I left everything behind, and we followed after you. What are we going to receive? What is the pay? What is the payment of this? I let go being a fisherman. I let go being a husband at home. I let go of these different things. What are we going to receive out of this? Verse 28, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when you come back, because it says he'll pay you in his time. The time of the Lord is not the same as us. So people will see you preaching out there and think you, you don't get none of it. And these niggas ain't even got nothing, you know? And you come back lifetime after lifetime and the prophets from before who did it. But that's the thing that they're ignorant of. That one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So if a day with the Lord is a thousand years and he's going to pay us in his time, maybe the most High might pay you in three days or a week. You don't know. But that's on his time. And you might have been back a few times already. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration. Okay, when you come back, regenerate, right? When the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. See? See, Yahweh shall have has to see sitting on the throne of his glory. He has to be set up. You got people that don't even believe in him. So even though he got received power from the Most High, he still haven't received his paycheck of glory yet. Because people don't even fear the most high. You got niggas out here that are just lost. Niggas think they could do what they want. Walk how they walk. Talk how they talk. When Yahweh shall come back, I promise you, he going to put a lot of people to death, man. Because his vibe is how this world going to operate. Because this is his inheritance. And if nobody going to get down and serve him, that's as it says, he going to slay them. And people going, people going to want to get down. And then certain people wait. You know, like as it's written, two-thirds of our people, 66.6% .6 is going to be cut down and die. You know, Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, because we all seeking the mercies of Yahweh Shah, because we all ain't perfect. But Lord willing, the most I have the spirit on me and those around, you know, to do this work. To be on that side where we where where we're we're receiving the uh because everybody's gonna receive it. He said he's gonna judge every man's according to their work. So everybody catching the paycheck. <laughs> Your payment could be death by fire, or it could be this kingdom making it on this chariot. Either way, you're gonna get a check. You know, as it's written, uh the wages of sin is death. You know. So it says, and if follow me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones. So when the Most High sit in his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel, because Israel is going to be the highest position there is. Israel is going to be the highest nation there is. And you're going to be judging the twelve. Then twelve is going to be judging Israel. So it's going to be Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, King David, the twelve, and then those on down, the 144,000, the one-third multitude, and those after. Then you got the nations, okay? 
Then you got the animals, and then you got the Edomites, <laughs> the lowest of the low. All right, but um, this gonna be this. this hey, so this is the position. Which of you could be a judge? You know what it is to judge. You know, verse twenty nine. Everyone that have forsaken houses or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold. So if you lost out on a brother in a relationship with, with your personal brother, you're going to receive a hundred brothers. If you lost out on a house, you're going to receive a hundred houses. If you lost out on a sister, you're going to receive a hundred sisters. You know, you're going to, you lost out on time with your father, you're going to receive that back a uh, hundred times. All right. Is he going to come through as your loins, your kids or your mother or the land? You're going to see a hundred more lands. Children, you're going to see a hundred more children. Wife, you're going to see a hundred more wives. It says, and shall inherit everlasting life. You're going to live forever. No job here offers you everlasting life. My father worked for the MTA and died worked for the MTA. There's no everlasting life in there. That's it. You're done. Ain't nobody going, hey, yes, you know, oh, yeah, this is the year, and this person did this, and man, great, and they put their picture up and write, hell, no, they don't even do that. They don't give a damn about you. You just die, and that's it. It's a wrap. You know, this world is, is, is through. It's finished. All right? But many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. But this is what Peter acts, and this is the words of Yahweh Shah. Now, if this wicked bastard Esau, the so-called white man, put you in slavery, called you niggas, uh, still got us saying terms like master bedroom and all of these different things, okay, still have his statues erected to remind us on the faces of our dollar bill was our, our oppressors. If he got all of this, and he's and he can give you a a, a health care and a, a a paycheck and a, you know. Some benefits and uh, you know um, um, some stipends and um, 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 a stimulus check. You know how much more the heavenly Father when you doing this work for Him? Because those who who uh, worked and had their taxes were able to give a stimulus check. How much more you know when, when you relief? How much more the Most High is going to give you His mercies? All right. See, the Lord is going to do that for sure. For sure. So you know, um, you know, Lord, well, this 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 was a, a edifying lesson. You know, oh, I, I, let me finish this. Ecclesiastes twelve and one. Remember that the, the Creator in the days of our youth, while the days of evil come not. Right. Do this now. Get in this thing now before shit go haywire. Because a lot of people want to go haywire, like they said. You know, people uh, when when it's all bad for them, then they want to come on a team. A, the most high might not, it's going to be very few, you know, I mean, you're going to make your chances, it's just something who the most high have reserved, who's going to come in, and that's a fact at that as well, you know, very last hour brothers, and they're written to come in, you know, I'm not here to judge, because hey, as long as we make it out, we make it out, but the most high, this scripture right here is telling you, remember now that I created in the days of our youth, while the evil days come not, all right, because when they do come, you're going to be scrambling, you're going to be without, nor the years draw nigh. What I mean when you get old, when thou shalt say, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in it, right? Oh, damn. Well, I might as well serve the Lord. I ain't got no more pleasure in these days. I'm old. I did all I could do. I checked everything off my bucket list. Let me just serve God and die. You know, the most I said, hell no. You better get me now early in the days that I you, before the evil days come, before your ass get old, be on fire for me. The same way y'all be on fire for this world, y'all be on fire for everything in this corny ass society that they got going on. And this society is weak. It is corny. But people get, get it high off of it. I don't know what the hell you get high off of it. The shows is corny. They drain me out. They bore me. The games is corny. Anywhere you go, it's, it's just corny. It's through. It's through. It's finished. Okay, because it's over. It's, it, everything has been over, overly promoted, it's overly saturated. It's the same old BS. All right, you got to be around the same old freaking Edomites. It's, same, it's just, ah, you know, it's time for the, for, for, man, it, 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 that, that time is, 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 is needed, man, for a restart. This place is long due for a restart to be on a whole nother art vibration, a whole nother octane. You know, I want to hear music of harps, live harps playing, people singing the, the, the Psalms in the Hebrew, you know? 
Niggas singing all this goddamn pop smoking this and that and all this ratchet shit and this, that. That's all you hear. That's all you hear. They take the rainbow and turn it into the LGBTQ. I can't wait to do the rainbow could be what the rainbow was for. The rainbow was for as a covenant. I can't wait till we acknowledge that again. You know, these are part of the payments as well, just so it can have some normalcy. Fruits on GMO, they don't got to be genetically modified. They'll actually, a, a, a fucking watermelon don't got the damn seeds in it no more. Just even a normal sense of it will be cool. To see a farm, see some, some animals. You go to these damn supermarkets, everything frozen. You, as soon as you buy the damn meat, you got to freeze the damn meat. I mean, God, you, you, don't, you don't even know what the food even tastes like. You throw it in there, you shove it in the fridge. You eat in like less than 20 minutes. I, I haven't even sat there. No one even, I, I, have, you have, I have never in my life experienced a pure meal, a freshly uh, 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 slain lamb cooked that whole day, right? Eaten that whole day. Never. We don't even know what that tastes like. So in the kingdom, it's going to be like that. You're going to have fresh food. Even the heathen going to eat a fresh food. There ain't going to be no damn refrigerators in the damn kingdom of heaven. You're going to eat fresh food every day because that's how it was back then. There was no refrigerators back then. We so accustomed. Frozen fruits. Heat, heat it up. Oh, heat it up. And wonder why we come out so damn retarded and stupid and all these heavy, all these spirits. It, it just it just, just not the way how the most I created to operate. You know, it's retarded, man. It's retarded. And this place is through, man. It has to be, it has to be finished with, man. So this paycheck, this reward, man, we laboring for, say, work to work, but times is just so we could get the sense of normalcy of how we should operate. But then there's even more to it. You know, there's, there's going to be royalty in it. You know, people are going to be righteous for a chance. People are going to be righteous. They're actually going to get along. You're going to be beefing somebody trying to get over on you, money scams, or somebody need more money, and, oh, man, this ain't working out, all right? Ain't going to be a, a, a woman who dealt with multiple men, and that, that's not going to be like that. They're going to be dealing with the same men. They always dealt with, and that's how it's going to be to the end, you know? Kids ain't going to be watching all these retarded damn cartoons and not knowing nothing about the Lord, you know? That's it. You, uh, kids can't go out in the street. The goddamn people want to play with firecrackers all day. You know, it's retarded. People smoking weed. I mean, they put in smoke inside their bodies, but they'll make green tea. They'll make damn green tea or say, yeah, you got to drink this tea because you're sick. But then they'll use a herb, a marijuana herb to smoke it. I mean, this shit is retarded, man. I mean, it's just retarded. I don't understand this society, man. It's retarded. It ain't, oh my gosh, man. You know, man, sometimes, you know, the, you know, you get overwhelmed. You get overwhelmed. So that paycheck, that reward, man. Oh, brothers, man, this this is a big thing, man. This is a big thing, man. This is a big, big, a big check that we get. Nothing that we do in this lifetime could reward us with the what we're going to get. Nothing that we do. You can receive a billion dollars right now. Ask Jay-Z. Ain't you you're going to still be stressed? Are right, you still going to be, it's not going to change it, man. It's not going to change it. I don't know, you keep the bill. I'd rather, I'd rather, I want the big reward, man. You know, as Sirach 51 and 30, work your work with times. And in his time, he will give you your reward. Think about Job. Think about Yahawashai. Think about how Yahawashai haven't even received his glory yet. Because the whole world ain't bowing down to him. The Yahweh, there's people who could say that they are atheists. When Yahweh Shai come, you think anybody going to say that they're atheists? No, nah, nigga, you know, I'm in Buddhism. What? That's why I say, uh, in the day of our power, the people will be, shall be willing. Because that dude's head is going to explode. When they see, like, 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 um, like, um, Oh man, this is guy from this show. Uh, it's a show, and he makes people explode. He's like this blue guy. Anyway, man, when they see his, see his juices explode all over the place. You think people ain't gonna say? Uh, you think people gonna still say that? And if they do, their head's gonna explode, man. All right, when the Lord come back, people gonna bow down. That's how it is. People respect power. People respect the sword. That's what they respect. 
They don't respect the we the electors were hearing his words. Thus saith the Bible. But these guys, you could tell them, man, the Lord gonna come back this and the Lord gonna do that, and them niggas still gonna be the same. They still gonna be the same, man. And that's just the way it is, man. They need that blood. So that reward, man, is what we looking for. You know, not to stir away. Lord willingness edifying through the spirit and power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Again, double honest to the apostles of GMS, those who rule well. Shalom to the Akim out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Special salutations to the Akim and the sheep of Red Camp, the Awam Mayim, Karak Al Kahan, Akrab Shapat. That being said, Kwamiya Sha'Allah, Kwamiya Sha'Allah, Kwamiya Sha'Allah, Shalom. Arise, Israel. And Lord willing, we receive that reward.